Hey everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit, and today I want to talk to you guys about caffeine. So, why am I talking about caffeine? It's because about 90% of American adults consume caffeine every single day, and it's also in almost every pre workout supplement and a lot of other supplements. It's because almost 70 million Americans consume at least three cups of coffee per day, and 21 million Americans consume six cups or more per day which is a ton of caffeine. And almost all of these people are pretty much addicted. So where do you get caffeine? You get caffeine from coffee, tea, cola nuts, you get them from chocolate and cacao, and a lot of other seeds and leaves. But most of us get it from coffee, and for those of us who work out a lot, we get it from our pre-workout supplements. But nowadays, it's added to all kinds of different things like waffles and gum and syrup and even water now. So how much caffeine are you consuming right now? A typical cup of coffee is about 150 milligrams. Uh, a little cup of tea is gonna be about 75 milligrams. A typical can of soda is about 60 milligrams. And a, a half a bar of dark chocolate is only about 35 milligrams. So for those of us who eat a lot of chocolate, uh, if we eat a square or two, it's just a few milligrams. So how exactly does caffeine work? When caffeine hits your brain, it suppresses adenosine. Adenosine builds up in your brain throughout the day until eventually it gets to a certain point that you basically go to sleep. Caffeine essentially blocks the adenosine from building up in the brain. It also stimulates glutamate and dopamine to give you more energy. But if you consume too much caffeine, maybe 500 milligrams or more, all that adenosine that gets blocked up eventually will get out once the caffeine wears off and you will crash hard. So let's talk about the benefits of caffeine. A recent study by Johns Hopkins shows that it actually can increase your memory consolidation throughout the day. For those of us who work out, caffeine can actually help decrease your post-workout muscle pain and increase stamina through your workout. There are also a ton of smaller studies that show it can help with Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, liver issues, all kinds of diseases. But most of these studies are more corollary than conclusive. Caffeine can also help with weight loss or reducing weight gain. And when combined with ibuprofen, can help get rid of headaches. Caffeine also increases serotonin, which makes you feel more positive. So what are the negatives? What are the side effects of caffeine? Studies show with high quantities of caffeine, like four cups of coffee every day or more, can actually lead to heart attacks. Caffeine can also give you jitters, increased anxiety, and an uncontrollably high heart rate. And withdrawals can actually lead to intense headaches and mood swings. Caffeine can also cause digestive issues and sleep problems, whether that's a lack of sleep or just poor sleep in general. Caffeine can cause high blood pressure and actually weaken your immune system as well. Caffeine can also cause dizziness and inflammation in the body. And there are a ton of other side effects out there. These are just kind of the main 10 or so. So if you're gonna consume caffeine, how much should you consume? A good guideline for this is basically take your body weight in pounds, divide it by two. So for me, that'd be about 75 milligrams. And that's a good safe level of caffeine to take every day. If you multiply that number by three, that's the most you're gonna wanna consume each day. Anything more than that, you can kind of get some side effects, some more serious side effects. So I personally have stopped taking my pre-workout supplement that had caffeine in it. It wasn't a lot, but once I got off of it, I had four or five days of really bad headaches and I felt really lethargic and I did not like that. But luckily once that broke, once my body got rid of that dependency, I'm feeling back to normal. Luckily for me, I don't drink coffee and I do get some from chocolate, but I eat such a small amount of chocolate, cacao nibs, cocoa, that it's not effective. Caffeine can be great for the body, and I can definitely see why a lot of people take it. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide how much caffeine you should consume every day, if you should consume it at all. I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button down below, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shut down.